What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. This, this is gonna be an exciting, an exciting video to tell you guys about. Now let me be clear before we move forward. This information that I'm about to give you, these 10 things about running a marathon with your child, these are tips that I have put together based on my own experience with my own kids. And I'm using the word kids very lightly because both my daughters were in their early 20s when they ran their first marathon. And if I had to be pressed, I don't know if children, as in people under the age of 18, should be running marathons. And I guess it's because I'm not sure if a body is growing, if it needs that kind of breakdown that a marathon brings the body. Can't back it up with any science at the moment, but I am open to discussion. So if you think that kids should be allowed to run marathons, let me know in the comments below. Also, my two girls that I ran their first marathons with, they have had a lifetime of running. So they have grown up seeing their mum run, me run, and they have done multiple races before going into the marathon. So with that said, I think it's kind of a thing that running parents really want. They want to be able to share a race with their kids. So if you ever find yourself in that position where your child, your adult child, wants to run a marathon, these tips will help you navigate that if you're going to be running it with them. And spoiler, if you get the chance, it's a lot of fun. Just as an aside, I actually ran my dad's first marathon, not with him, but we both went out and we ran the same race. And in hindsight, my father is deceased now. I wish I would have run that race with him just so we could have had those memories. But we went out together, we ran the race separately, and then we met up after. And it was still pretty good. But I have to say, I wish I had had those memories of actually running the marathon with him and then going through that struggle together. My friends, that's what it's all about. We are creating memories that you and your kids are gonna carry forward for the rest of your lives. If you're watching this and you have run a marathon, you know how special that first marathon is. Perhaps it's the time you first realized how hard it was to run that far. Perhaps it was something that you didn't think you could do, but you overcame so many obstacles to get there. That is what we're talking about. That is everything that your kid is going to be approaching as they go towards their marathon, and you're gonna be there to help them. And let me tell you, you can help them. You can make this whole process. You can make the race easy. They still have to put in the work, but you can remove some of the barriers and make the whole thing a lot more fun. Okay, so the first thing, the first thing when you're running a marathon with your kid is to choose the race carefully. And choosing a race carefully, it's a bit of a luxury. There are always gonna be better races somewhere else in the world, but maybe the perfect race is close to you so you don't have to travel that far. But ideally, the first marathon is going to be a fairly flat course. You don't wanna to introduce too many variables like crazy hills or anything with extreme weather. Of course, we can't control the weather, but we can use weather forecasts. We can look historically at what the weather has been like. And also we wanna race with a fun atmosphere. I know some of us might argue that all races have a fun atmosphere. Well, there are some races that have, you know, maybe a hundred people in them. And there are some races that have thousands of people in them. The races with thousands of people in them are going to have a funner atmosphere just because there's gonna be more people sharing in the triumph, there's gonna be more people sharing in the pain and discomfort of the later miles, and more people brings more spectators. And when you've got people cheering on your child on the side of the road, that's gonna give them that boost. You know when you're digging deep at the end of a race, those people cheering, cheering your name, it really picks you up, really helps you move forward. Choose your race carefully. I guess now would be a good time to tell you guys that back when I ran these races with my daughters, so I ran the Space Coast Marathon with my daughter, Michelle. That was back in 2014. And then I ran the Disney Marathon with my daughter Libby. That was back in 2017. I wasn't making videos back then. So I don't have the kind of video footage that you've been seeing on the channel now. I do have some photos and that's what I'm going to be throwing up on the screen as we move forward. So for both my races with Michelle first in 2014 and then Libby in 2017, both the races were at the same time of year and they were both in Florida. Now we live in Florida, so that was pretty easy. And both the races are at the coolest time of the year. Both the Space Coast and Disney marathons are very flat and they're both very entertaining and both very fun in their own ways. Tip number two for running your kid's first marathon, pack all the extras. You pack all the extras. Use your experience. Don't rely on their youth and inexperience at the distance. They're relying on you to make sure you've got everything you need. You've done these races before. If you are going out there and you're running it with your child, you've already done a few marathons. You know what it's like. You know what you need. And I'm talking gels, other fuel, appropriate clothing, hats, gloves, throw down clothes for the beginning of the race while you're standing around before you actually get running. Something I always like to bring to my races is a bin liner. And a bin liner is probably the most ideal piece of equipment to have in your pre-race kit because all you have to do is cut a hole in the top, pull your head through it. So if it's raining before the race, you have some protection. Also, if it's cold and windy, that bin liner just 
cuts the wind like a dream. You can see here, me and Libby at the Disney Marathon. This was a very cold morning. If you haven't run a Disney race, they all start very, very early. I think most of the races start around 5.30 in the morning. So obviously when there's a race with 20,000 people, you have to get there very early. And having the bin liner, as well as some other throw down clothes, just made that beginning of the race that much more perfect and comfortable. Number three, the third tip to running a marathon with your child, make it fun and order some custom clothing. You will need to look back and see what a special occasion it was. And nothing says a special occasion like some dorky matching outfits. Michelle and I actually did this a couple times. We first did it at Space Coast and then we had another half marathon, I don't know, a couple years later and we ordered the same shirt in different colors. My friends, now would be a great time to give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it. Perhaps it's put the idea in your head of that you will be able to run a marathon with your child at some point in the future. Giving this video a thumbs up just kind of tells YouTube that you know what, this video has some value. Why don't you push it out to some other people? They might like to take a look. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, consider doing so right now. I post new running videos at least twice a week. Number four, the fourth tip to prepare for running a marathon with your child is to prepare for meltdowns. And what do I mean by meltdowns? Because probably your child is an adult at this point that they are planning to run a marathon. They probably have a lot of experience with running at least over the last couple months as they've been training for this marathon. And yet meltdowns still happen. Now your child could be a successful professional in their own world. But when they get home and they're around you, the parent, meltdowns can happen. It's totally normal. And you have to know how to deal with that because when you're training for a marathon, it's a big deal. You know what I'm talking about, right? It can be pretty stressful and that stress will build up. And because your child is so comfortable with you, maybe it can lead to a meltdown. Just be there with encouragement. You and I would probably have more meltdowns if it were socially acceptable. And for your child and you, it is socially acceptable for that meltdown to happen. So expect it and just encourage them that this is absolutely normal. It's normal to be stressed. It's your job in this marathon to remove the barriers and to encourage. That's it. Those are your two things, remove the barriers and encourage. So when meltdowns happen, you just walk them through it, piece of cake. And then as quickly as it happens, the meltdown passes and we're off to the races. The fifth tip for running a marathon with your child. Now this kind of ties into the last one, but you have to be the confidence for both of you. There is no room for doubt. The room for doubt for you was in your first marathon. But right now, this isn't about you. This is about your child and their first race. And you have to be there to support them, to be confident. There is no room for anything else, my friends. You keep telling them they are gonna be fine. They have put in the training. You can prepare them for different things that might happen along the way. What happens if they get a stitch? What happens if they're thirsty? What happens if they're tired and they think they can't go on. How are you going to deal with it? You've got to have those answers ready. And those answers have to be positive. You don't show any weakness. You don't show any doubt. And if you're not confident, you fake it till you make it. Okay, the sixth tip for running a marathon with your child. I really like this one. This one is a lot of fun. You have to practice crossing the line. You might think this is cheesy, but I have been outside on the street in front of my house with both my daughters several times for several races, practicing how we're going to cross the line. And it doesn't just happen once. You have to practice this so you know what you're going to do. So with my girls, we knew that we wanted to cross the line, holding hands with our arms up in the air. You can see a brilliant photo of that with Michelle and me right here. And then here is Livy and I doing the same thing, crossing the line. Consequently, this is a very popular way of crossing the line in my family. So here is a picture of my wife, Harmony, and I crossing the line doing the same thing. So you might think this sounds silly and you're thinking, Matt, why does this need preparation? Well, you have to know which side you're gonna be on. And you might think it's a little, a little precise. We just make it up as you go along. No, you wanna remove those barriers. So when it comes time to execute, you know exactly what you're doing. You fall back on your training. And the last part of this tip is to assume your finishing position further back from the finishing line than you might think. Because there are photographers snapping your photo all the way down the finish chute. So don't just wait for the actual crossing the line. Maybe 20, 30 meters out, that's when you grab your kid's hand and you cross the line, arms in the air, like the champions you are. Some of you might think it's a little awkward to be running with your arms in the air for such a long time, but that awkward feeling disappears when you see how absolutely epic the photos come out. And that is why tip number six is to practice crossing the finish line. And tip number seven of running the first marathon with your child is to have a plan for approaching the low points. You and I know there are gonna be low points in a marathon, but remember the old ultra running adage, it never always gets worse. That's what you need to tell your child moving into the race so they know that it's not always gonna be bad. If you're running your first marathon, you don't know how your body's gonna feel towards the end of the race. And I don't have to tell you this, but your body might not be feeling its best. This is where you're using your experience and you have to tell them that it's not always gonna be this way. Push through. The miles will get easier as you move forward. Also remember, 
this point that every runner is different and your child might not be feeling the same way as you. Hopefully, if you're running the race with your child, it's not an all out effort for you. It's not a full on marathon pace because marathon pace can get a bit tricky. So it's very likely that your child is gonna be experiencing a bit of discomfort, a bit of fatigue, more than you are feeling. And this is, it all comes full circle. This is where it just comes back to being an encouraging and helping them mentally get through those hard times in the race. Tip number eight for running the first marathon with your child is to have a plan, have a race plan, have a special plan for those last six miles, that last 10K when things really get tricky. So what I did with both my daughters during their first marathons and during subsequent races that we've run together, I've kind of been the guy to hold the stuff and to be kind of their assistant while they're running. The races that my daughters and I run together, I'm kind of like their help. This race is for them. So just like the pros have someone on hand to have their special drinks kind of handed to them, that's what I do. I will hand them a gel. I will make sure that I'm the one going to the water table to get a drink so they don't have to navigate that awkward area where everyone's kind of stopping and grabbing a drink and sipping and then throwing their cups down. I will encourage the girls to stay in the middle, keep running, hold their pace. I will bring them a drink. And this is when your experience comes in because there's going to be time when your kids don't feel like having a drink or having something to eat. This is when you use your experience and you bring them something anyway. Of course, they don't have to drink it, but if you bring them something, if you bring them some Gatorade and they can just take the sip, that could be the difference between bonking and not bonking. In the same way, we want to encourage them to fuel appropriately. I can relate to this. Sometimes you're running well and you think, you know what, I'm running well. I don't need to take a gel. I'm, I'm feeling fine right now. Why do I need to take a gel? My friends, this is where your experience comes in and you have to impart to them that they are taking the gels preemptively. Once you run out of glycogen, there's no getting it back. You're not getting it back before the end of the race. And that's why you're there, to help them, to remind them. The ninth tip for running your first marathon with your child is to plan something special after. This has already been a special event, but it doesn't just end when the race ends. Plan a post-race brunch, or maybe go out to dinner that night and celebrate. You have to wear your medals. That's a given, you have to wear your medals. Everyone needs to know that you just did something amazing and you're celebrating it with your son or your daughter. Maybe a small gift, balloons, flowers, I don't know, you pick. Just make it an event because this is a big deal. And number 10, the 10th tip for running your child's first marathon is to enjoy every minute of this special, special moment. My friends, there's only one first marathon. And by running your child's first marathon, you are getting the chance to see it through the eyes of someone else. Your first marathon, your first marathon, it may have been fantastic, it may have been a disaster. You may have felt like crap and just struggled through it. This is your chance to make sure it's a positive experience for your child. Running a marathon can often be a type two type of fun in that it's only fun after the fact. Probably gonna be that way for your child because they're running at race effort. You're there as a different kind of participant. You're running the race, but you're doing it for a different reason. Enjoy every second of that. And if you can, make sure you've got someone on the course to take lots of photos. Hi right, guys, I wanna know, would you like to run your child's first marathon with them or have you already done so? Let me know in the comments below. Guys, this video is being put out on Father's Day, 2021. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Be kind, be happy, run well. See you in a couple of days.